Have you ever thought about turning your love for problem solving into a career that helps protect people and their information? Well, you might like ethical hacking. A day in the life of an ethical hacker involves hunting for vulnerabilities and fighting back against new and evolving cyber threats. But where do you start? With so many paths to take, it can be a bit overwhelming. Well, don't worry, you've come to the right place. Hey, I'm Josh, and in this video, I'll take you through how to become an ethical hacker step by step. Keep watching to find out all the tricks of the trade. So, you want an IT career that can pay you over 100,000 US dollars per year? Visit the career resources section in the description area of this video to find out more. So, what does the job involve? Well, ethical hackers test the security of computer systems, networks, or applications by exploiting vulnerabilities. This is known as penetration testing, or white hat hacking. In short, you get to break things for a living, just like malicious hackers or black hat hackers. But there's one big difference. Ethical hackers work with permission, otherwise they would get into serious legal trouble. With that in mind, the first thing you need to become an ethical hacker is a code of conduct. That means respecting the privacy of others, avoiding anything illegal, and acting in your client's best interests. You'll also want to pick up some new skills like programming. Master the basics of at least one language like Python, JavaScript, C, C++, and Ruby. Why? Because it will help you write scripts, analyze code, and exploit vulnerabilities. These are the skills that illegal hackers already have. Start learning how to penetrate a system and move laterally through a corporate network as well. It's also worth checking out the OC model, IP addressing, and routing. And this might seem obvious, but get familiar with different operating systems, not just your own. That includes Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, because they all have different security features and vulnerabilities. And you don't know what server your future employers will be using. Did you know that public facing applications can make or break an organization in a cyber attack? That's why you also need to understand HTML, CSS, web servers, and databases so that you can actually access web applications and sites. So once you've got the know-how, you'll need the experience. Try creating a lab environment to safely test your hacking skills and practice problem solving. This is great for identifying vulnerabilities and learning how to fix them. You can even buy cheap network gear to simulate a corporate network. It's also worth playing around with some networking and pen testing tools like Nmap, Wireshark, and Metasploit, or exploiting intentionally vulnerable systems like Metasploitable and OWASP WebGoat. Just remember, practice makes perfect. Want to make things more fun? Take part in capture the flag competitions and bug bounty programs. Even if your contributions aren't groundbreaking, these activities will give you valuable exposure and experience. Don't be shy, ask for help from professionals in the field. Okay, so now we've looked at the skills that you'll need to be an ethical hacker, but they will only take you so far. You'll also want certifications to reach those better jobs. Some of the most well-known ones include CompTIA Security Plus, Certified Ethical Hacker, Offensive Security Certified Professional, and Certified Information System Security Professional. They all focus on different aspects of ethical hacking, so pick the one that's most relevant to you. Taking them all though, of course, will only make you more employable. Networking is super important too. Get yourself on social media sites like LinkedIn and Twitter to connect with other cybersecurity pros. Just be warned, some people think too much exposure online could put a target on your back as an ethical hacker, so decide carefully. And anyway, you can network through security conferences and webinars too. You can even attend some of these online. For the full remote experience, try joining some ethical hacking forums. By this point, I think it would be time to get some professional experience, don't you think? Look for cybersecurity internships or entry-level positions or even freelance projects to boost your portfolio and your wallet. Don't assume the pros are too busy either. They were in your shoes at one point and they'll have loads of advice. As an ethical hacker, you'll need to keep up with the most recent vulnerabilities. After all, cyber threats are always evolving, so you need to as well. The National Vulnerability Database provided by the National Institute of Standards and Technology is a good place to start. Or threat lists developed by the Centers for Information Security and OWASP. Subscribing to newsletters and blogs will help too, as well as taking online courses and attending workshops. So there you have it. By following the steps in this video, you can get started as an ethical hacker today. Remember, always keep learning and adapting. As an ethical hacker, you'll help create a safer digital world for us all. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.